Hi, welcome to Miss Angie's Kitchen. We are going to make strawberry cream cheese crescent rolls today. And the ingredients that you're gonna need is um, a tube of crescent rolls. You're gonna need four ounces of cream cheese, which is half of a box of cream cheese. And it needs to be soft so that you can spread it around. You need some sugar. And you need about eight large strawberries cut up. Um, this looks like maybe like a cup and a half or so. And if you don't have fresh strawberries, you can use strawberry jam, but then don't use sugar. All right, let's get started. All right, so I went ahead and I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Oh, get, ooh, see how you get so nervous opening these up. You're gonna wanna open up your crescent rolls. Take them out of the tube. And they're already pre-cut into triangles. I went ahead and I lined my cookie sheet with parchment paper. You don't have to. Um, I just did because I wondered if it was going to stick. I've never made these before, but I've, I've eaten them before. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spread all of these out on my pan. I have all of my crescent rolls unwrapped. And the next step is going to be to take our softened cream cheese. And again, remember that was about half of the box of cream cheese. And we're going to spread it just like peanut butter, all of our crescent rolls. I'm going to do this for all eight. All right, I'm finishing up the last one. And again, I just spread it out just like you would with peanut butter. It doesn't have to be perfect because when you're making this in the oven, it's all going to melt anyway. Okay. Then I'm going to take my strawberries and you could do this one of two ways. You could put your strawberries on your um, cream cheese and your crescent roll and then sprinkle sugar on it. But I decided I'm just going to go ahead and do it right here in the bowl. So I'm going to put a couple of spoonfuls of sugar in with my strawberries and I'm going to mix it up. You don't have to put the sugar on there. You can leave it just like it is. It might just be a little bit more tart. And tart means sour. So now I have all my sugar mixed in to my strawberries. And I'm going to put strawberries on top of my cream cheese. All right. Finishing up with the last of my strawberries here. See which one needs more. Okay. Now we're going to roll them. And I honestly can't remember which way to roll it, so I think we're going to go biggest to smallest. Just like that. Strawberries are escaping. All right, so I'm going to roll all eight of these. All right, so I just finished rolling the last of my um, crescent rolls. A little messy, but I think it's when it cooks, it's not going to be ooey and gooey. It's going to taste really good. And I noticed when I was rolling these, I tried small to big, big to small, and they all kind of look about the same. So I don't think it matters if you do um, small to big, big to small. Next, we're heading to the oven. All right, putting this in the oven. 350 degrees for, the recipe says 13 to 15 minutes, I believe. So I'm gonna set it for 13 minutes. And we'll come and check on them. They need to be golden brown. My timer's gone off. And uh, the recipe said 13 to 15 minutes, but I ended up having to cook mine for 16. What you're looking for is for your crescents to be golden brown. This looks delicious. So you can eat these hot. 
or you can eat you can allow them to cool um, I bet you eating these hot with some ice cream on it would be delicious otherwise eating them cold make a good breakfast um, treat or maybe some dessert you could sprinkle it with some powdered sugar too if you needed a little bit more sweetness but I hope you enjoy them and I will see you next video